So the time has come then. I cannot wait for this. I've been so excited about this record and about this moment in my life for the last 32 years. The Manic Street Preachers have recorded the official anthem for Wales' appearance at Euro 2016. I'll play you the track in full. We've heard clips of it throughout the morning on Good Morning Wales. Together Stronger coming up very shortly, but I'm delighted to say that Nicky Wire joins us live here on BBC Radio Wales. Good morning, Nicky. Hi, Jason. You all right? Well, fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Very good to have you. First of all, how proud are you to be associated with the lads heading out to France? Oh, yeah. It's just a proper bucket list moment, you know. So many times over the last 20 years I've started to write a lyric when we've been in a playoff or close to qualifying and uh, to actually be able to do it and, uh, you know, for the FAW to ask us to do the official one, dream come true. Yeah. And what was it like? Because I know you had a lot of fun, didn't you, recording the video as well? The video was brilliant. It's one of those days you kind of really look forward to, but dread a bit as well because you're just nervous about it and you don't know if anything's going to click. But, you know, two minutes after talking to Chris Coleman um, about a few drunken nights at Wembley Arena in 1999 <laughs> when he came to see us, the, the ice was broke and the players were great. The players were absolutely lovely. You know, Ashley Williams and uh, Joe Allen and Chris Gunter, all of them just... Yeah. You know, sometimes footballers get a bit of a bad rap, but they were just bought into it straight away. A great fun. Uh, and what happened? What was the relationship like there, Nicky? Did you contact the FAW or did they come directly to you to say, look, the boys are there, they'd love you to do the video and the track for France 2016? Well, we actually did the song anyway. We just thought <laughs> we're going to do this for ourselves because I'd written so many lyrics, like I said. And it's a really long lyric. And I said to James, let's just do it anyway, whether we release it or not. So we did it, we, you know, we were working out in the studio and then, um, to be honest with you, I can't remember, I'd let, let the management deal with who who got in touch with who, but um, first and foremost, it had to be a really good Manic song. If it wasn't any good, we wouldn't have got, you know, I think that's why we did it ourselves first, because we didn't want to just um, chuck anything out, you know, it just wanted to be a really great Manic song, so, you know, and then have the context of the trials and tribulations of being a Welsh uh, football supporter. Yeah, absolutely. Now, James Dean Bradfield came on the programme on St David's Day and uh, we talked about the time when you were doing some busking out in <laughs> Australia for the British and Irish Lions tour. And I said, look, is there any chance that I might bump into you in a square in France at all? He wasn't sure then. Can the Welsh fans expect to see you out there doing some busking? Uh, do you know, we're just trying to sort out. We just, I mean, this was supposed to be our summer off and it turned into a really busy... All of a sudden, we're on an arena tour playing at Liberty Stadium and uh, as well as doing the Everything Must Go reissue, but doing a football song. So um, just every day seems to be getting taken up with, with something to do at the moment. But I really want to try and make out to the first game, especially the Slovakia game. Yeah. That's, that's what we've got our eye on. Yeah, you've got to be there. We've got to have in hand. You've waited Probably so long. Probably the most money we've ever made. <laughs> and I remember, and I talked to James about this when he came on the show on St David's, I remember when you changed the lyrics to Bobby Gould must go, which <laughs> endeared you to the Welsh footballing public forever and a day because you spoke for the nation. And I know that you're massive sports fans, but, you know, the music to one side. How excited are you, Nicky, about the boys finally make it? Because I've just tweeted, actually. I hope there's no reference to Joe Jordan or Paul Bowden because we've all been there. <laughs> we've all been there. I've never forgiven Joe Jordan whenever I've seen him at a fu- football function. I can't bring myself to shake his hand. And whenever I see Paul, whenever I see Paul, whenever I see, whenever I see Paul Bowden, whenever I see Paul Bowden, I always say to him, Paul, you know, you missed that penalty, but you did save me thousands of pounds when I was a student by not sending me to America for France, for, for the World Cup. <laughs> the Paul Bowden win was particularly disappointing just because we had, it was a great team and we battered them that night. Yeah. We so deserved to get through. And it's such one of those key moments when, you know, the deflation, you, I can still feel that deflation now, you know, when the penalty missed. I know. But um, it's all worth it now. Just to have something to look forward to in, you know, in these sometimes dark times we live in, just to think in, you know, a few weeks' time, we're just going to be able to go out there or just watch on the telly or listen to the radio and just be genuinely enthralled and excited and who knows in this year of upsets where we could go. Absolutely. We could be the Leicester City of the European Championships. Nicky, I'm going to play it in full. Are you okay to stay on the line very shortly? Yeah, I want to come no back worries, and uh, tell me what you think of this. Okay, so Di sitting in his car waiting to hear the song. Chloe on the text, just seen the video on Wales Online and it says it's absolutely fantastic. So here it comes. I'm so proud to announce that this is it. The Manic Street Preachers, Together Stronger, our anthem for our lads. Here we go. Chris Coleman's men! Three, 
Uh, it's brilliant. It's the Manic Street Preachers, Together Stronger. Nikki's still on the line. Nikki, goosebumps. lots of people. I've got goosebumps myself. It's amazing. It sounds absolutely <laughs> brilliant. But you rascals, you did leave a reference to Joe Jordan in. <laughs> I thought we were over that. <laughs> uh, this is an important part of our history. The thing with the lyric, I wanted to show, to show the kind of melancholia as well. I didn't want it just to be some triumphalist, you know, parade to France or something. I think it was nice to give it contents context uh, since 58. Yeah, this is Cloyd who says, uh, like you, Jason and Nicky, 30 years plus, you've made my year with this, Nicky. Thank you very much. Ben says it wouldn't be a football anthem without some passionate commentary. And Joanne says, loving the Manics anthem for Wales. Well done, Nicky Wire. And can I just ask you about the clips? Did you, did you, was that the idea then to, to run the bits of commentary into the track as well then? Definitely. You know, it was a crucial actually to, to make sense of it all really. You know, just, uh, Rob Phillips at the start there setting the scene and then going through, you know, the down periods as well. I just thought it was quite, you know, and Steph, Stephen Guerrero's documentary comes out tonight or tomorrow night, I think. You know, he yeah. goes, you can kind of follow the path of trying to trace all those things as well. Same in the, in the video, you know, it's quite hard work. Expensive work, but it was all worth it in the end. Magnificent. It's brilliant. And obviously, you know, I mean, the greatest football record of all time has surely got to be, uh, I don't know if you if you like New Order. I know it's it's England. Yeah. and I think care. World in Motion is the best. World in Motion is great. It's great. It's great. So, and that lifted the nation as well, didn't it? I mean, let's, let's hope this does the same as well. Nicky, it's absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolute pleasure, sir. Good. See you out there, OK? We'll have a beer in France. Yeah, we will do. Thanks, Take care. Thank you very much. Indeed. That is Nicky Wire from the Manic Street Preachers. That is absolutely brilliant.